Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Hamilton, and what you'll be watching now is day two of the homemade pizza recipe. First, I'm going to go over all the equipment that you'll need for day two's lab. So, we're going to need our pastry brush, a cutting mat, our pizza pan, and our rolling pin. Our dry ingredients that we'll be using is flour and garlic powder. Wet ingredients we'll be using today are olive oil, which I've already poured into this custard cup, and cooking spray. I want you to observe the pizza dough and how it's doubled in size in the bag. And also, there's some carbon dioxide still inside the bag. Uh, because of the yeast, the dough has done this. So I'm going to take out the dough from the Ziploc bag. Before I do that, I'm going to take a spoonful of flour and spread it on my cutting mat. Because we want to turn the dough onto a lightly floured surface. I'm also going to coat my hands with a little bit of flour in case the dough is sticky. And I'm just going to let the dough slide onto my floured mat. Okay, you'll notice the elastic consistency. Okay, it's very moist. Okay, we're just going to coat the dough in flour. Okay, before we start to knead. So again, notice the elastic stretch in the dough. And now we're going to begin kneading the dough, just for a few times. Fold, push, turn, fold, push, turn, fold, push, turn. And we're going to form a disc with the dough, as you can see. At this point, I'm going to take my rolling pin, put a little bit of flour on my rolling pin, and begin to roll out my, my dough into a large circle. So, I'm going to roll it out in my north, south, east and west directions, so we get a nice, big, round disc of pizza dough. We'll see what that looks like in just a moment. Okay, so here's my dough once it's rolled out into a, a large disc. Uh, now, step three tells us to spray the pizza pan with cooking spray. Or we'll lightly grease the pizza pan. So I'm going to take my spray, lightly coat it, and step four says to transfer the dough to the pizza pan. So all I'm going to do is lift up my cutting mat and I'm going to turn the dough onto the pizza pan. I'm going to flip it so it's easily transferred. Spread it out. Okay, and you want to work the dough to start to form your crust, okay? So you're gonna take your fingertips and press out the dough. You wanna evenly spread it out as far as you can using your fingertips, the heel of your hand, and spread out the dough. Okay. What I'm going to start to do now is form my crust. So I'm going to take the side of my finger and press along the side of the, of the dough and just spin the tray so I can make my crust. So zoom in so you can get a good look at what I'm doing with my hands. 
and I'm pressing the dough against the pizza pan. Just working my way all the way around. Okay. So you can even pinch the, the dough a little bit, making a nice crust. Here's what it looks like. Step five says to lightly brush the dough with olive oil. So now I'm going to take my pastry brush, dip it in my olive oil, and brush the top of my dough. Just lightly. Light coating all across the dough as if I'm painting. The olive oil is now going to help the garlic powder stick to the dough. The garlic powder will give the dough a nice flavor. So you want to lightly sprinkle just a little bit of garlic powder across the, the dough right before it goes into the oven. Step six says to place the pizza crust into the oven. We're going to start baking the pizza crust prior to putting the cheese and the sauce on top so we have a nice crispy crust. So I'm going to stand to the side of the oven, place the crust in, and now I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes for a pre-bake. You'll see what that looks like once it's done. All right, so our pizza crust is ready. I'm going to hit the timer button. I'm going to turn off the oven. And let's see what our crust looks like. Look at that. Okay. A nice pocket on our crust here. But notice the light brown coloration. Okay. We have a nice crispy crust to start off. And um, what we're going to do in class is let the crust cool completely wrap it in aluminum foil for the next day.